lads, uh, just a quick little video for you uh, that would be nice to do. Um, just with regards to um, rim light latches, uh, or should I say, um, that have the rotating disc uh, in front of the cylinder lock. Okay, so what I've got here is just a basic ERA. Um, same would be applied to any other brand, the Owls, etc., uh, where they've got the big door pull uh, and you've got the rotating disc uh, that's sat in front uh, of the cylinder. Uh, that's going to be attached to perhaps a rim cylinder, just pan around so you can see one on the back of another door, like so. Okay, and there's obviously auto deadlock in these ones. Um, the additional little snib that just shoots out and fires the uh, deadlock in. Okay, so I just pan back around to this one. Okay, so with this lock, um, from a picking point of view, if everything is exactly the same. Okay, the only difference is obviously you've got the rotating disc now in front of the actual plug, uh, sort of obscures the keyway. Um, but the main rule is uh, the main rule of any lock picking. Um, is obviously if you can apply uh, tension onto the plug and um, to rotate the plug as long as that doesn't interrupt you getting your pick or your pick gun etc into the lock uh, then it's absolutely fine and um, what I always say to people if something isn't working you change and adapt okay okay so with this type of lock what I tend to do uh, I tend to use a tension tool um, that has quite long legs okay something perhaps like this Okay, this is just a rigid ten, uh, tension tool. Uh, got a leg at each end, quite long, one thin, one wide. Um, or you could perhaps use something like a soft bend, um, something like that. And the soft bends are obviously shaped like so, because uh, they bring you away and out of the big door pull. Because obviously the pin tumble lock um, is slightly set back towards the door. Um, so you've got a good few mil there before you actually hit the keyway. Okay, now I'll just show you a quick demo just from a picking point of view. I'm just going to pan round a bit just so I can hopefully you get a bit of a better view. Okay, I'm actually going to just come on the side there, otherwise, my hands will be in the way. Okay, just zoom in. Okay, so you can see the pin tumbler there. Okay, so all I need to do is make sure first off that I look into the keyway. And so I can see the, pro, uh, the profile of the plug, so that will give me an idea of where to position my pick. Now, what you generally find is when you go in, and uh, this one's got, you know, it's quite a long leg, um, and it does catch the plug, but there's a danger it could sort of slip out. And sometimes what happens is when you're picking, it slips out, you get a rotation of the front disc, and you think, oh, that's picked. You go to test it, and it's not, it's actually just slipped out of the keyway. Okay, and because of the profiles on these ERAs, these are six pin BS locks. Um, your tension tool tends to ride up into almost the set, uh, the centre of the keyway, but no big deal. It still gives you enough room in there for your picks. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with a couple of hand picks on this. And what I tend to do, I tend to just hold the tension tool against the door pull with my thumb, because that way it's not going to pull the tension tool out. I'm just going to zoom back a bit just so you can see what I'm doing with my finger. Okay, so that way I can apply nice light tension on and off as I pick. Okay, so I've still got room to go in with my pick, as you can see. I'm just going to start to rake along the underside of the pins. I just start off nice and low. What I'm doing all the time, I'm testing different, slightly different angles of the pick. And just feathering that tension on and off as I pick. Just getting some height. Sometimes not as high. Okay, because what you've got to do is just try different positions with that pick but making sure that you start off nice and low on the pins not too high don't go straight for the kill and then start to get some height as you start to get momentum going with your picking slight snag in there good sign just saying to me the pins are being worked okay so that's gone quite far that one didn't actually throw me into anti-pick um, which they will do so now just screwdriver into the lock give that a turn and that's gone. Okay, I'll just show you that quickly once more. What I was hoping for was for that to start going to anti-pick. Okay, but we'll just give it another shot. So if it does go into anti-pick, you simply just reset, pick, reset, pick. 
Okay, so that's gone into an, into anti-pick. Okay, so all the pins are died on me. So all I do is keep the tools in, just rotate everything back, let it reset, pick again. Okay, because when it goes into a full set, that's a good sign, the lock's being worked. Okay, so it's now it's just a case of picking resetting, gone into anti-pick again. So again, tease that plug back, let it reset. And you get to know on these locks how far the plug turns when it's actually gone like that, as opposed to anti-pick. Okay, so again, I could use the tension tool to turn the plug. Okay, it's a rigid tension tool, but it may not be enough room because of the door stop. So I just tend to hold it in position, screwdriver in to open the door. Okay, so that's just with the pick and, and with hand picks. Exactly the same with a pick gun. So I'll just go and grab a pick gun. Okay, so I'm just going to use a manual pick, pick gun, just a lock aid. Okay, so. Same thing with the, ten, uh, with the tension tool. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is go in and I know where the pins are resting. Okay, so I can see the pins. So I just need to make sure when my pit gun goes in that my pit gun is rotated. Okay, to find the sweet spot underneath those pins because the idea is obviously the blade slaps against the underside of those pins. So I'm just going to go in, look for the sweet spot. Okay, just there. Make sure there's no bind on that blade at all. Okay, just let them reset. So just there, just start to snap away. You can see just after two snaps, again, oh, without losing the tension tool, that's gone there. Okay, so like I say, most important thing, okay, with regards to the rotating disc, Okay, that's not going to get in the way. All that's there for is to basically prevent the lock being attacked, i.e. drilled, etc. Although we know that they can still be drilled. Uh, but from a picking point of view, uh, it's all pretty much exactly the same. It's just trying to find that nice sweet spot on the plug to get your tension tool on. Obviously, if this is a right-mounted lock, I could, if there wasn't a door frame here, I could have the tension tool at the top of the keyway to rotate round, etc. Okay, it's all about change and adapt. Uh, but hopefully that's helped you out a bit. Cheers.